All right, so aldehydes and ketones, 20.1. We're starting chapter 20 and going to a new functional group. Uh, I say new, you've seen it before. Uh, the functional group is the carbonyl group. You see it here, okay? Carbon, oxygen, double bond. And so if, if we have two alka groups on here, then it's a ketone. And if we only have one, it's an aldehyde. And if we have none, What is it? What is this? If we have none. Okay, I'm going to let you answer that uh, without me. So, aldehydes and ketones are very common in nature, very common in biomolecules, and they're important in the synthesis of many, many pharmaceuticals. We see them all the time. And that's why, even up to this point, though we haven't gotten to chapter 20, we still have seen these in our, in our um, um, work because they're so common, right? So the basis upon which much of the remaining concepts in this course will build on ketones. Rather, can I, can I start that sentence over again? I'm just reading it. I shouldn't be reading and talking. This is the basis upon which much of the remaining concepts of this course will be built. So we, we are going to be doing carbonyl groups basically from here on out. And there's a couple variations of it, but all right. So we will be also be doing uh, amines. So the carbonyl group is common to both uh, ketones and aldehydes. And here's some examples. Vanillin, aldehyde, cinnamaldehyde, spicy, carvone, mint, spearmint, benzaldehyde, progesterone, which is a female sex hormone, and testosterone, which is a, a male sex um, a male uh, sex hormone. By the way, it's real interesting to me when I look at this uh, to see that that uh, both of these are steroids, right? I think it's like that, and I think it's like that, and that. This, oh, methyl group here, and a methyl group here, I think. This is, believe it or not, cholesterol. And look at the similarities, right? So that's why they're called steroids. There's a steroid, there's a steroid, you see them? And it turns out that's oxidized to a carbonyl carbon, right there. Um, and then the five-membered rings got this aliphatic tail, which is clipped off and put made into something else. You can see you could make this stuff, couldn't you? You probably have enough reactions in your repertoire right now to actually make this stuff. I'm sorry, to make testosterone from cholesterol. All right, that's all for this uh, for this first section. I hope you uh, I hope you're looking forward to carbonyl carbons. I think this is my favorite part of the course. Best wishes.